Hi guys, welcome to a video with me, Clarice. In this video, this is definitely a haul video and all these items that I have over here are from Timu. For those who don't know what Timu is, Timu is an online marketplace where you can pretty much get anything your heart desires from clothing to household items to paint stuff, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. Uh, jewelry, yeah. So let me just walk you through what I got from Timu really quickly. Let's start off with this box over here. So this box actually contains a waterproof case for my Hero GoPro 11. Most of you know I went to Hawaii and I purchased the GoPro to get the beautiful scenic views. And I didn't get this on time so I could go under underwater. I was going to say underground, underwater with it. But there's going to be a lot more trips that I take. And so I cannot wait to use this on the GoPro and check it out. But it looks to be made really well. And uh, quality seems to be very good. I don't really have much to compare it by. But uh, when I use it, I will find out. So that's one. I'm going to put this aside. Next thing I have on here, I'll leave the jewelry for the very end, uh, is a watercolor paint box and it's 24 wells. And uh, some of you may have watched my video of the Paul Rubens um, paint tube that I recently swatched with you guys. And I wanted to have something or a case that could contain those paints because I don't like painting directly from the tube. I'd rather have it in a box and so this was my solution to it. Um, this is what the box looks like. I believe you can open it like this. Which is fairly convenient. I think you can even keep some of these areas closed if you want to just maybe flip it. Let's just try that really quickly before I, so if I do this. Oh, no, maybe not. Uh, this is what it looks like. So you just drop in your paint and I guess this is your paint box. And you can sort of rest it on that too. It's got this little bit so I guess you can slip your finger through it and hold the box so this way it doesn't fall over. You got something holding it, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's 24 uh, and the, I think the number of colors I had were 32 if I'm not mistaken, but I wanted to get the 24 just to sort of see what it looks like and then if I liked it, I would get another one or maybe get more, but I think it's fabulous. It looks very sturdy and the pricing for this solid little container or watercolor container of 24 colors is $10 Canadian. Quite the steal. Definitely a bargain, especially for how solid this feels. All right, my next item. I know some of you were probably eyeing this already because you could read what it says. I ended up getting the acrylic markers, not only because I was curious about trying them, but summer's coming up the kids are going to be home soon and i want to have them occupied with more artsy projects because believe it or not even though i do watercolor i teach watercolor my kids don't do a lot of art um, and i figured if i get the acrylic markers which you can also use to paint rocks and i guess all sorts of items uh, mainly the rocks is what i had in mind for them, uh, then that would help them sort of explore their creative sides. So uh, it's a set of 24 and it says more ink capacity, good coverage, water resistant for multi-surface. Oh, and it's got a brush tip. And let's just read the instructions. These premium paint pens offer rich colors and finer, more flexible tips than you'd get with costlier brands. Use your paintbrush pens with water to create delicate watercolor effects. Oh, that's interesting. Or use without water for dry brush painting, sketching, coloring, calligraphy, and more. Each brush pen has a soft, supple tip 
made of durable nylon brush hairs. Use the tip's tapered point to create thin lines. Brush down for thicker lines and strokes. Inks are conforming to the EN713 and ASTMD4. 4236 approved. Comply with MSDS. Inks are okay. All right. Uh, caution: small parts included. Do not swallow. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the paints. So this is what they look like. Feels very velvety and soft, almost like the Princeton Velvet Touch brushes. That's what the tip looks like. And let's see if I can get a sheet of paper and just quickly do a test. So I'm going to use this bag and as our, our test ground and do the acrylic uh, painter pens on here just to see what that looks like. So it's purple. I've got purple flowers. Let's just see if I'm doing like little purpley flowers. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Like I could just take a bag and paint on. Let me see what happens once it's dried up, like how that transitions. I'm sure it's fine, but I'm sure you guys also want to know if in case you're interested in purchasing this product. Some cute little flowers over there. Let me do some over here because now I'm really into this and I like how this is transitioning onto this plastic bag, so to speak. And we'll let this dry and then get back to it. Let's just see. But I think I might, I think I know what I'm going to do this evening. Adding more details to my little bag here. Okay, let me just keep this aside. But let's go back to looking at the colors. So we've got I think we've got a gold as well. I'm just going to do a dot here. It's yes, this is a gold. It's a goldish sort of yellow, goldish yellow I would say. But we've got about four pinks, two purples, oranges, orange yellows, I would say, another four, um, greens, we've got about yeah, three greens, I would say, two blues, we even have we have a gray, we have a brown, I'd say maybe like two browns, one red. Oh, we have a silver. Yep. And a white and a black. Okay, so this I think we're going to have a lot of fun with. I definitely want to try them on. Um, on a rock to see what that transitions into if it looks anything like these and do some really cool rock art so that might also be coming on the channel so stay tuned and guys. these markers are priced at 21 Canadian dollars just gonna wait for this to dry before giving you a verdict on what this how this dries off it's still a little bit damp so we're gonna come back to it the next thing I have to look at is this I know a lot of you are dying to know what this is and I am so excited for this because I've been waiting for something something I've been waiting to get a nice set off wait for it okay I just gotta open it so wait some more wash colors so that's what these are guys these are gouache pods I would say or little pudding cups 
I've seen them all over Instagram and I guess these are the newest way or the newest trend for gouache. So these come in these little cups like this and we've got one, two, three, four, 24. It's a set of 24. <clears throat> and let's see, 30 ml. This is a purple. This is what that looks like on the inside. And it's convenient that it comes with a, in a case that's like so sturdy and helpful. And very, very much so like the, the case for 24. This is solid in terms of the locking and just how the box feels. It's definitely no loosey goosey box. Okay, so let me open all of these so you guys can see what that looks like. So this is what the palette looks like. Look at these amazing bright colors. Look at that green right there. I think this is like a fluorescent looking pink, a great, lovely little mauvey pink. Uh, some interesting oranges and this gorgeous teal over here. So that looks very nice. And what I'm going to do is because all the names of the colors were in are in Chinese. I guess I'm just gonna have to make sure that this somehow sticks on here so then I kind of have an idea of the colors. Although the colors are pretty apparent, you can see what they look like. I just don't have the names. So we'll see how this works out for any future video tutorials that I might be doing with Gouache. This nice solid palette of gouache paints is for 39 Canadian. All right, so. so the last two things that I ordered from there, which, you know, you guys know I love my jewelry, is a an ankle, an anklet. I was gonna say ankle bracelet. This is an anklet, and I thought it was the cutest thing for the cutest price. And let me show you what it looks like first. So this is what it looks like. It is a two piece set that you weave around, weave, that you tie around your ankle and it's got a cute little heart and I absolutely love the simplicity of it. It might even work as a, no, actually no, it won't work as a, as a bracelet, but I used to have a bracelet like this, but can't wait to use this for the summer as an anklet. And then this is the second part. So you wear them together. Again, simple and super, super cute. And the price point for this is 89 cents, guys. I know. I honestly don't know if you could ever find something for 89 cents that looks quite so cute. So I was quite shocked that they had something like this on the website and figured let's just order it and see what it looks like. I'm impressed with the quality of that. And then here we go. You guys also know I love my rings. And so I ended up getting a ring as well. And it is this little turquoisey sort of ring that looks like that. Unfortunately, it is way too big for me, even if I put it on my thumb. But I do love it, and I'm going to try and see if I can get a the proper size. And this ring is priced at $2 Canadian. So very reasonably priced and some fairly cute things. I kind of ventured into my tech space, some paints, some jewelry to sort of explore what Timu has. And um, I kind of like it. We're going to go back to this over here because this, this has dried up somewhat and this is legit so I'm trying to rub this and that's it guys these are all the items that I purchased off Timu I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm going to list everything that I've shown you on this video in the description below so you can Go have a look at it for yourself and 
I hope you check out the website and check out to see if there's anything interesting that you find. They've got so many things, but these were just a couple of things that I thought I could hand, um, I could use in my collections and experiment with as well. So that's it. There you have it. Thanks guys for watching and uh, let me know in the comments if you do end up purchasing something. Did you find something cool? What is it? I would love to see it.